The sound blues you can know why. The sound great with the good sound. The yeah. sound done with the club count. The sound nice you can know that. The sound blues you with the club count. I can't see the sound thing. <laughs> with the sound with the pop. The sound green with the great sound. looking good? The sound good to go. The sound blues you can know why. The sound everybody know why. The sound Say dog, with the bozo. Sound. The song is called Sounds in the Underground. The first track off his album comes out August 2nd. What up, Scribble? Scribble! It's wild. Dang, dang. August! Come Drake with us on the Suburban Noise Facebook page on the DRP. Rick Dogs, man in the fucking boards behind there. Yo, yo. We already had a couple shots. Got some Jane with us. Throw some weed, do whatever you do. I'm gonna drink. I'm gonna send this out with you guys. Answer some questions. RIP Pac. Nice got Florida in the house. Florida, what's up? What crazy shit you guys do today? Suburban Noise is back. Dropping shit left and right. SRH Fest, August 24th. I'm gonna be there, are you? I know Chucky Chuck's gonna be there. Unfortunately, Saint Dog won't be yet, but soon. Free Saint Dog. This song right here at Man Science Audio Labs. This is one of the first beats when Saint Dog decided to sign with us. Me and Kyle went to the studio, got kind of drunk, and started writing this beat together. Kyle ended up finishing it because Kyle's much more talented than I am. But this one, the first song we sent to Saint Dog, thought we killed it right away. And it was not about two years ago, this song, we recorded this song. It's been about a year and a half process to record the whole album. But this is track one on the album. Yeah, it's called Sounds of the Underground. What's up, Chuck? Chuck and Chuck! No meds? I was wearing a no meds shirt yesterday, Chucky. Pench Lord in the house. Pick up his new albums. He's got Scribble on the track, too. Chucky, I'll see you August 24th, brother. I can't wait to see you at SRH Fest. I actually can't wait to fucking just go out there and party. It's gonna be fun. You guys Alright. So yeah, welcome to uh, the live stream on Suburban Noise Records. Like I said, I'm the DRP. Rick Dog, Rick Dog, show him your leave after that, but it's Rick Dog. We're gonna drink some Jameson together. We're gonna drink some beer, like I said. Kevin Zinger and everything that he's done for us and for St. Dog. Uh, St. Dog, he did write me about a month ago, wrote a letter. He said he appreciates all the fans. He's really excited. He, he can't wait to get out and actually play these songs live and stuff like that. So he's super happy to be back, you know, with Suburban Noise and seeing everything that's happening with them, too. Um, fuck you, Toe Tag. <laughs> Rick Dog says, fuck you, Toe Tag. Hey, is everything sounding and looking fine out there, everybody? Yeah, can you guys hear the songs and stuff like that? Just let us know what we need to tweak. We're gonna be here for like an hour drinking with you guys and partying. So some feedback. Give Rick feedback. Actually talk shit to Rick. I can't read it, so I won't know, but I'll know in spirit that I'm happy. Well, let's roll another fucking track, shall All right, we? Let's do uh this is the track, the first track, and it's uh title track of the album Bozo. There's another track that uh Kyle actually wrote. Saint had uh the whole idea for it. Kyle wrote the guitars come on, and then Saint just killed it with the reggae vibe. Come on, come on, come on. What up, Ma? Saint Dizzle. Cheers, everyone. Yeah, they said everything sounds looks good. Don't get Yes, go to Spotify, stream the album. You can actually pre order the album uh, at SRE Productions. Uh, the link to the bundle with the free set. If you guys think about really anything in general, you know what I mean? Let me know. So I'm here for the break and play the album for you guys. Be part of this 
advisory. My confirmer noise is going to do a lot of these coming up uh, with a lot of different people. So if you really like them, let suburban noise know that if you want to see more of the artists do this kind of thing around, you know, try to unite the scene and stuff like that with it, with all the labels. So Kevin Singer, I mean, very connected, and the artists on this label are some of my favorites. So let's 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 get some feedback to show you know. How Coming soon. Like I said, make sure you guys get your take your break. Uh, in Huntington Beach, it's gonna be a fucking go fast time. There's amazing bands playing. There's an even a uh, SRH uh, Space Rep and Hotties uh, contest, bikini contest. You know that's gonna be off the chain. And I'll be here. from Force 5 Records. Uh, me and Saint have been friends for almost a decade now. We've toured with DGAF together, uh, all the DGAF. It was Gillies, Hoss, Chucky Chuck, Saint, me. Went on the road together. That was quite an epic adventure. Uh, I've toured a ton with Saint as a solo artist over the years, a lot. And uh, when, I, when I decided to restart my label up, Saint was I'm really looking to start my label up again. And I know you're not... Uh, you know, Sub Noise is kind of not doing its thing right now. I, I would love to have you come over here. Little did we know we'd be working with Sub Noise two years later after we, you know, decided on all this stuff. But there's a lot of history there with me and Saint, with Chucky, with uh, a lot, a lot of the uh, potluck I toured with them um, when they were on Sub Noise. Um, I've done a lot of work with those guys. And Sub Noise is uh, a label I've looked up to over the years. I've looked up to Kevin Zinger over the years a lot. I love the Cottonmouth Kings. I'm, I've been a fanboy of theirs since, since forever, really, since they first started out. And uh, yeah, I'm just honored what I'm doing and what, what Kevin's doing and stuff like that. He's, he's entrusted me with a lot, and I'm, St. Dog's entrusted me with a lot while he's away. So I don't take it lightly, and I really want to rep the underground and, and unite it again. You know what I mean? Like, we're all here for the same fucking reason. We love music, we love party, whatever it is. You know, SRH promotes all that different stuff, and that's why I love it. You know what I mean? So if you guys got questions, like I said, let me know. Um, I'll let you know a few things about Force 5 Records real quick. Um, How about you shut up and play another song? All right, we'll talk about that later. This next song is called "I'm Living Life." This is uh, got Danny Diablo on it and uh, Sinister, who uh, Dylan Monks, I think, did the beat for this. Shit, that's Jake. I could put my booty for um, Wi Fi on or hotspot. That's some password. There, is that one? Sinister in the house from Hostile Crew. If you guys haven't checked out Hostile Crew, that's Big Austin's uh, music project with Sinister. He was Circle A Records. Go back for Sinister. Is it feet a little bit better now? Yeah, let us know if there's anything that we need to fix.
yeah, that was uh, I'm Living Life featuring Danny Diablo and Sinister. Track three. Um, like I said, let us know if you have any questions about the, the album or where to get it. Or make sure you follow St. Dog on Spotify as well as his Instagram. It's at saint.dog for his Instagram. Um, still working on his Facebook page. Uh, make sure you follow, well, you probably already followed the Suburban Noise Records page. Come over and follow Force 5 Records, too. We, we'd love to have you. We'd love to drink a shot with you when we see you. And yell ruckus and I'll punch Rick in the face. Whoa. Hey. Anything else, Rick, to add? Uh, shit. Let's talk about some of the guest features that are on the album. Well, like I said, that one had Danny Diablo and Sinister. Um, there's a lot of artists on the album. Uh, Kung Fu Vampire in Mars, which is going to be the next song. I'm on the record. I've done a lot of production on this bitch. Boo. Uh, uh, Prolific's on it from Force 5. Scribble's on it, which, by the way, today, uh, Bang Bang just came out, which features Scribble from Force 5 Records. Um, you can check that out on YouTube. It's actually up there right now. Go check it out on Spotify. Jen Jen. Jen Jen! What's going on, Jen Jen? Um, yeah, it's a fucking banger of an album. We try to keep uh, the West Coast vibe on some of it, but also... Do a little bit of that punk rock, hip hop, and all that kind of shit. So, like I said, let's go into the next song. This song is called West Side. And um, Saint had an idea for it. He wanted to like just get West Coast artists for it. And uh, Kung Fu Vampire, who is amazing. I actually toured with him with Potluck. Kung Fu, if you're watching, I fucking love you. Your verses are always dope as fuck. You're an amazing artist and you're a grinder. And uh, Kung Fu was like, yeah, let's fucking do the song. So they wrote about like the West Coast living and stuff like that. Mars, you know, obviously from Cal California too. So check it out. This song's called West Side. I can't see. I ain't got my glass on. <laughs> can't see what else. I can't see shit. Drink, smoke up. It's Friday fucking night. So it's a little blurry, but it's not lagging. So. Hey. You're ugly anyway, so. I'm pretty. This is my good side. Actually, this is even better side. We're not sure one Saint's getting out right now. Yeah, there's a couple different ideas on when Saint will be out, but I don't want to give you an exact date yet. We're still trying to figure that out with him. What's so? Wu-Tang! Still blurry or no? Rick's just blurry because he's had too many shots at Jack Daniels and Jameson. You're... I'm gonna pour this for a rig. Make sure I fucking spike it. Like, what are the lives? 
I'm just curious what it looks like. Low riders, the best cannabis. Jesus, the cool vampire. The breeze, fine women, the sunshine, lemon squeeze. GTA and Venice Beach. San Diego to EPA. Everything ain't beautiful. What they say, boop de boop. In the 1960 cool, drop the top with an iPad. Not a mind box, baby, try not. Turn on hit the top. Camera got J Mo vision. What's that? The camera's got J Mo vision. <laughs> Donnie's ugly anyway, so it's, a, it's an improvement. I can't, I can't hear a thing you're saying, and that's a good thing. I don't want to hear what the fuck says. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Oh, it, it does get blurry. It gets fuzzy at times. Why don't you take your shirt off? Let's make this interesting. Let's take this bitch off! <laughs> you guys know we the warehouse where we keep the force five merch where we actually print everything is in the basement of a bar so we fucking drink and party here all the time but it's like 85 degrees outside right now and i'm dying why don't you show hey danny i want i want you to say hi to everyone too this is where we fucking do a lot of the printing and uh danny from 40 ounce fitness <laughs> is one of the people that uh does all this with us he's part of the what the movement would you yeah. say that the family or whatever. Yeah, he's part of the Force Five fam, and he's one of the integral parts. But he does a lot of this shit, like all the designs and stuff like that. This is where we do all the shit from. Look at prolific. What up, pro Fuck pro prolific? It's <laughs> a quick little preview. A couple CDs. Yeah, get you some of that. Force5Records.com. Oh, some tape. You want some of that? Fuck Rick Dog. All right, Donnie. All right. Let's roll another motherfucker. All right. Um, roll that beautiful bean footage. <laughs> this next song uh, is one of my favorites, but that's because I'm on the damn song. Uh, I helped write this beat with Kyle again from Mad Science Audio Labs. How about we just skip that one? No. We're going to play this, and you're going to drink and smoke weed and fucking party and yell ruckus. We're going to get ruckus right now because... <laughs> Sorry about the angle. <laughs> Rick's fucking things up. So... This song is called Bar Door Sign. Me and Saint have had issues with uh, with drugs in the past. It's kind of a song about uh, waking up and can't remember what the fuck you are and what you're doing. It's called Bar Door Sign. Let's fucking do it. And it's ruckus. It's ruckus as fuck. Hold on, it's still on the last song. Here we go. Like over there. <laughs> You're gonna get ruckus. You're gonna get ruckus soon, I promise! Drop down and give me ruckus, boy. Alright, I'm gonna have a shot to the song. Me and Saint have had a few times on tour where this is happening. I'm gonna work on waking up on this part too much. This song also features prolific for Force Five Records. Our little brother, our little brother prolific. When they put this on the pier, I'm nervous. Give me a gig of bomb that'll cure my car. Two bucks will play my song that'll start me now. Move to a Jack and Coke and all my old friends. After that, I'll take him by. So takes that. Where's Rick shot? Oh, asshole. Fuck Rick. Thank you. Where's your shot? Where's your shot? Where's your shot? For every one shot Donnie does, Rick should do three. <laughs> no, fuck that. Hell yeah, brother. Yo, it's me, the D.R.P. I'm riding, it's me, don't lie with me, it's hot with me, it's time to 
be hoping I eat. Ace in the house. Johnny in the house. And let's be. Like Hogan, I waste so. I'm macho man, it's stereo. You want to fuck my Alright, our little brother Prolific is coming up. His new fucking single whiskey drinking is gonna be off the chain. If you guys do that shit. Replicon Radio in the house. Replicon Radio, what's up, brothers? How we do it in Wisconsin? Yeah. We drink. We fuck. We fight. And we have the poor Wi-Fi apparently. So why don't you talk about the partnership between Sub Noise and Force Motherfucker Five Records? Yes, let's do that. Wait, we got a question. Oh, all how right. many hard-boiled eggs can you eat in an hour? Wait, isn't that from fucking uh, Paul Newman movie? Uh, what fucking movie is that with Paul Newman? I don't know. You're old as shit. <laughs> He ate all the fucking eggs. He was in prison. The salad dressing guy? But before he was a salad... <laughs> Rick, I fucking hate you. Before he was a salad dressing guy, he was a good-looking fucking actor from the 60s and 70s. Why did I say he's good-looking? He's a good-looking man. Next question. <laughs> Next question! Play the clue. Uh, oh, hey, Ed P.E. Oh, By the way, July 30th, Ed P.E. is playing in Cudahy, and me and Rick Dog will be there playing the show and drinking. Yeah, mostly drinking. Yeah, and I've partied with Jared quite a few times. It's going to be epic. Someone say Cool Hand Luke. Cool Hand Luke! That's the fucking one. That's a great fucking movie. Thank you, Mark 19- Noble. What year did that come on? 1969? I bet you I remember that shit. Hey, I'm, like, hey. I'm like Rain Man with that shit. I think it was 69. Anyway, right. next song. No, I want to talk about fucking obscure facts about <laughs> movies and fucking music. Give me a music question, like an obscure music question. Guarantee you, I fucking know it. Someone said, "What caliber gun do you have for your self protection?" Uh, that would be a ripped off question. I cannot because I'm a felon, legally uh, carry a gun. He's so got BB guns. No comment on the guns. Look at his forearms. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's two guns right there. Two guns. Two. Oh. All right, let's go back to another song because we're getting drunk. I hope you guys are getting high and getting drunk with us. We're about halfway through the album, not even halfway, a little bit. All right, so this next song is called Same Old Screaming. This is another uh, track produced by Kyle from Mad Science Audio Labs, one of my best friends and one of my, basically my other musician in the band. Shout out to Kyle. Kyle, if you're fucking watching, I love you. If you're out there no somewhere. <laughs> Hey, it's very Common All Kings old school vibe. We need more, we need more bass. These little ass speakers, they can do it. You can probably drown everything out. You can probably drown everything out. Yeah. Jen, Jen, give me five bucks. Try to you out, Rick. I don't want to hear you. Area I call home. We make these because we drink a lot. Yeah, Rick is at the drink. Yeah. 
like a West Coast dime. Horse ride tour in San Antonio? What's up? I love San Antonio. When I was out with my 55 in San Antonio, one of the craziest fucking hits on the planet was San Antonio. And homie from Repticon Radio wants to know more about the collab with the two labels and why. We'll do that after this. What up, Frank? The homie from Replicon Radio yeah. wants you to tell more about the collab with the two labels and why. Well, like I said, me and Saint have been friends for a long time. I've toured with a lot of the Suburban Noise artists. I'm friends with a lot of Suburban Noise artists. And uh, when Kevin, I knew that Suburban Noise was coming back about a year ago because I had talked to Kevin about putting out the new Saint Thought record. I had it three quarters done and uh, I, I talked to Saint, I'm like, Saint, this is my idea. What do you think about trying to, you know, get Suburban Noise to like help us push it? Because I knew that with Suburban Noise help, we can make it bigger. You know what I mean? Like Force Five, I love my label and stuff like that, but we're not as big. It, Suburban Noise has got 20 years of history, and not to mention Saint Dog belongs on that label. So I started talking to Zinger. Uh, Saint gave me Zinger's number, and Zinger was interested. And he's like, hey, I'm thinking about bringing things back. He's like, I want to, you know, make the underground what it used to be. I, I want to have that good vibe and stuff like that. And obviously, like I said, I'm a fan, first, business partner, second. Uh, just to be able to talk to Kevin and, and discuss these ideas with him was a dream come true. So it just kind of worked out. Like, I knew that this would be the best the best fit for it. So I, I give props to Kevin. I give props to Suburban Noise for letting me... You know, be a part of a little, a little one, one millionth of a piece of the history. So, this is part of the history right here of Suburban Noise. It's part of the. I get to say that Force Five helped a little bit, small, a small smidgen of it. So, like I said, I, I've all, I've always been a fan first of music. I love music to death, and to be able to do this is a fucking dream come true. So, let's see. The next song is called "She Be Wifey." And, uh, see, that's, that's the owner of the bar right there. Hey, Alex. Alex. Is that Alex or no? Hey, hey come here. Oh, <laughs> yeah, live feed. Yeah, it's a live feed. So, like I said, our uh, warehouse is in the basement of an entertainment complex slash bar. A it's one of my best friends right here. Alex, say hi to everyone at Suburban Noise. This guy owns the bar, City Lounge. <laughs> Right where we right. uh over this way more. Yeah, come over. Alright, now one with your shirt off. <laughs> yeah. Rip it off. So yeah. There you go. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> so like I said, uh it's been a dream come true. And uh Alex, what do you think? Go buy stuff. All <laughs> yeah. the stuff. Buy stuff. All the singles. Buy stuff at srhproductions.com, suburban noise records.com, and force by records.com. Thanks, Alex. I appreciate that. Yeah. Now get the fuck out of here. I'm trying to do some business. Hey, he can evict us. Don't say that shit. <laughs> Play another song. All right, all right. So this next song is called She Be Wifey. I was actually trying to write a trap song two years ago. It turned out horribly. And I kind of ripped off a riff from Deftones, and I played the guitar on this. So here it is. It's not she Jason Logic's single. <laughs> I don't know how I'm feeling. If you really know the Deftones, you'll know some of the root notes from this song. I'm 
break this last of the James song. Very sad. It's basically a song about acid. I'm listening. Yeah. So if you're doing acid right now, you're not gonna remember this for shit. Me neither. Free shirts? Free well, shirts to the first girl that takes off her clothes. No, I'm sorry. It's a, well, it's a dude, so. <laughs> yeah, dudes! <laughs> That's the last. Rick, I'm taking this shot. Fuck you. Jake Poe, FK, Danny Lodak, Billy Joseph, I'm Teezy, I'm a shot in the dark and I'm sleazy, these beat the time, so, so sad. Is this the lagging? I'm sure it is, but nobody's saying anything. He's drunk. Hell yeah, he is. <laughs> I'm rapping. I'm rapping. And I want to punch Rick in his goddamn face. I just tell you know I'm drunk. And I want to punch you in your goddamn face. This fucking guy? He's taking my beers now? My Milwaukee beers? Rick. I'm gonna punch him. Oh, God. Fuck Rick Dog. Whoa. He's a nice man. She's so nice. Because he gave me this. She knows my feet, but I'll take No you. leg, just blurry sometimes. Love her up, drink, love her up, fight. Only when Rick comes in, we have to turn that shit to low res so you don't see his fucking horrible fucking beard. It's my beauty radiating. They know too much, so they hold me. I'm psycho sad because I'm this man. What up, Jojo? Jojo? Can I see if I can hit the F1 in the fucking middle there? No. Why, is that expensive? Computer? Hell yeah, this beat is dope. This beat? Is it? Because I was, I was feeling bad when I wrote this beat. It's, it's fucking weird. It's a weird song. Very trippy. It's for the acid fucking lovers. It was supposed to be trap. It didn't, it didn't work out that way. Free Saint Dog. Free Saint Dog. Hashtag. Keep doing that hashtag. Hashtag. Keep doing that hashtag. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> I've had a lot of whiskey now. We're about sixty percent of the album, and I'm out of whiskey. And I really want to punch Rick in the face. Oh wait. You know I can't see shit. I'm glad that wasn't the last. <laughs> I should do that in your face. <laughs> Talking that shit. What is this? Oh, it's Jack. I'll drink that. Can Jack Daniels sponsor us, please? Or Jameson? <laughs> any, or any whiskey, any whiskey really? Deal, deal. <laughs> please save me some money. I'm trying to run a record label. You know you're not getting that back now. Sorry, Lucy. We'll see about that. Is everyone out there in internet land? What's the next project you're working on? Me? So, let's talk about you for a second. Oh. Fuck it. Me? I can talk about me for a second? No, anyway. <laughs> oh, damn it. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I am working on my uh, album right now, but it, me and Rick are actually working on an album called Rux Brothers, and it's more of like a country rock album, and we're probably going out in Nashville to uh, record some of that. So, yeah, check that shit out. Check out the DRP. I just put out a single called Heroin. I was addicted to heroin for like three years of my life and uh, got off that shit and here I am. Fucking punching Rick in the face. <laughs> it's way better. I'd rather punch Rick in the face than punch my veins full of bullshit. Bam! Hey, anyway, next song. <laughs> All right. Uh, this next song, I talked to Josh, who Hell you yeah. might know as 
underrated. We've been putting money on Saints Commissary. Yes. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> Is someone... Yeah, talk shit. Yeah. No, they're, they're just asking. All right, all right, all right. Uh, this next song, you might know him as Josh, underrated, or underrated from Potluck. I've known Josh for a while, and uh, he's one of the greatest producers in the underground. And I was like, hey, I'm working on the Saint Dog project. I really would like to get a beat from you. And he's like, here's like five or six beats. Which one Which one do you like? Me and Saint, actually, I gave Saint the six beats. I listened to the six beats, and we picked out the same beat, so I knew it was destined that this had to be on the album. It's kind of a strip club song, but it's dope as fuck. It's called Pixie Girl. Cypress Hill on a, a show together in Vegas 
So, already, it's fucking crazy fucking fun as fuck. And, uh, so after that, Chris decides to take us out to the strip club. And Chris <laughs> is, is a character. If, you, if anyone from Vegas knows Chris Filthy, you know who the fuck I'm talking about. He's a legend out there. <laughs> he takes me insane in this fucking pickup truck. And he's got a safe sitting in the middle. And so I'm like, why do you have a safe in the middle of your truck? He's like, just wait. So we get to the strip club. He opens it up. I shit you not. He's got 20 grand sitting in the fucking middle of the safe. So he pulls out 20 grand. And now, mind you, me and Saint got like, eh, I'm not going to tell you how much we got paid for the show, but it's less than 20 grand. And uh, he, he gives us like a grand a piece, we'll say. What up, stir crazy? He gives us a grand a piece. <laughs> And he's like, all right, go into the strip club. We're going to have a good time. So we get in the strip club, and the place was fucking nuts because they, they know who St. Dog is. So the owner is like, okay, I'm going to play Bump, the, the, the video, on the screen. He plays Bump by Cottonmouth Kings on the screen, and Chris puts us up on the top sh level. He's like, throw that $1,000 you have a piece. The singles, we have $1,000 in singles each. Throw it down on the ladies. <laughs> so we're sitting on the top fucking level. Bump, bump, bump. That's the sounds of the 50s when they hit in my trunk. So I, I'm throwing fucking singles down. I look at Saint. I said, Saint, I'm not throwing all this thousand down. He's like, fuck that. I'm keeping some of this. So we're throwing this shit down. And Chris is like, no, you better make sure you throw all that money to the trippers. So I kept throwing it. And I was like, psh, 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 psh. <laughs> and it was raining. And shit got stuck in the speakers on the level below us. I was grabbing that shit. And so was Saint. We we're just like, Wet, wet. So yeah, strip clubs, Saint Dog, me, a lot of fun, potluck, underrated. I hope that happens again. I hope we get to have a part two to that. Chris, if you're watching this, book us again in Vegas. We're having a good time. It's not gonna book you after you just told him <laughs> you took his money. <laughs> he what? He had money out of his fucking ass, and he got some of those Saint, strippers. <laughs> it was it was when um. It was when Dabs was first starting out. You know what I mean? Like, no one had any idea what Dabs were. So, <laughs> that's another story. So, we're at Chris's fucking condo. Fuck that. Play no, a song. No, we're at Chris's condo. <laughs> and Saint fucking took a dab. Got fucked up because he had no idea what it was. And I was like, I'm not taking that hit. Because Saint, it, Saint's a cop mouth king. If he can't handle it, I'm going to handle it. I drink whiskey. All right. Next song, Gangsta Ways. Yeah, you can't handle shit. This for the laid back ladies. <laughs> And this is, this is a production by Corleone, another guy that's done a lot of shit for the last Commonwealth Kings record with D-Lo, Johnny Richter, and St. Dog. This is Corleone's beat right here. She Stop touching it. <laughs> I got, I got OCD. <laughs> Was that whiskey? Macho Man Randy Savage. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, brother. Jojo Blast was at that show. Which show? The Vegas show? Yeah, he kept he kept chiming in saying how he was there at that moment. That was a fucking fun-ass show. It'd been better if you weren't there, but anyway. Rick, I'm gonna punch right in your fucking face! You're lucky the song's chill. Can <laughs> you get that apple yet? She don't know nothing about the throw away. She knows. Rick, let me land in the forest. You talk for a minute. We gotta give you some. Come on. We got three. 
three songs left. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was gonna bring Rick out here, but he's Paul, Paul wants to know. Let's talk about Nickelback. Who said that? Who said that? I'm not gonna tell you his name now. <laughs> Whoever that is, let's not talk about Nickelback. That. No, let's oh, not talk about Jojo that. said he, his old band was Any Last Words. Shout out to Any Last Words. Oh, Any Last Words. Any Last Words is one of the greatest bands on the planet. I love but Jones. They're even greater because they're my friends and I love them. They're from Vegas. If you guys haven't checked that motherfuckers out, Any Last Words. Brian is one of my fucking good friends. Check that shit out. I believe they're trying out for the SRH Fest. Vote for them, please, on the SRHFest.com site. They're trying to get to be one of the openers. N-E, last words. One of the greatest bands. Punk rock, hip hop, fucking rap. They're dope as fuck. So, can we figure out how to get Hoss in here or no? Oh, I don't know. Unless we, I put him on speakerphone or something. All right, let's try to do that, please. There's three songs left on this fucking CD, and Hoss is on two of them. And as you, I'm sure as 99% of you know from Suburban Noise Records, Hoss is St. Bell's brother, and one of the dopest MCs on the planet. And one of the dopest, uh, he can write a hook better than anybody on the planet. We've been trying to get him to uh, be added to this live stream. He's driving back to Inland Empire right now. I actually talked to him a little bit. But we're stupid and we don't know how to use the internet. I, I'm stupid. Rick, <laughs> Rick's smarter than me. So. Oh, I thought you left, Dan. Sunglasses. Sunglasses? And my knife. And your knife? Yeah. Sunglasses oh, wow. and knife. Let's interrupt our live what? <laughs> hey, live shit. Your <laughs> bullshit. Man's knife is very important. <laughs> yeah. How about it's... we play another fucking song well, while I try, to, songs left. I try to link up on Hoss here. All right. We're gonna try to link up with Hoss, because we want. Yeah. Play a song. All right, all right. We'll, we'll roll this. We got three songs left for y'all. Are you guys watching? Is anyone watching? No. No. Oh, Just okay. kidding. <laughs> all right. Well, we're gonna play Bang Bang, this feature Scribble, and then we're gonna play a couple songs with uh, Hoss. Actually, I'm missing a couple songs on this bitch. Whatever. That's Dan, again. He's he's missing his uh, glasses. He forgot, a, he forgot his purse. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry guys. Totally fucking up the whole thing. <laughs> I'm actually missing a couple songs out here. I don't know what they are. We're all missing things. Oh well. Can't play? Uh, we don't got our shit together here at Force 5. <laughs> <laughs> this is a track that just came out today. Check it out on Spotify. Check it out on YouTube. And uh What's up, Gene from the Gold State? Yes. Alright, Hoss just hit me up. He says it's still going. Yes. So I'm trying to figure out how to get Hoss. We gotta get Hoss. What up, Critter? We can't add him in on the Facebook page. I don't know how to do that. We don't have a clear shot. <laughs> I'll give you a clear shot. This is an old song. I'm just saying. Just a little bit. I'm missing a couple of songs. Scribble! Scribble in the house! Force five! Since the 
Oh. What's up, bitches? Someone named Rick Dog wants to know about your farmer's tan that you got. <laughs> I do. I got it really bad. This is Milwaukee for you. It just <laughs> got warm, and I haven't had a chance to fucking even this shit out. So, thanks, Rick, for fucking making me feel like shit in Milwaukee at the 414. <laughs> free St. Dog. <laughs> free St. Dog. Hashtag fucking free St. Dog. Hashtag, hashtag that. <laughs> All right. Uh. Hoss is actually hit me up on a fucking thing right now. We can't get Hoss plugged in or what? We... I, 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 no. Can we call him? <laughs> call him on your phone right, right now. All right, all uh, right. You guys want to see hear from Hoss? Let's let's right. pull Hoss up on the all horn. All right, I'm gonna call Hoss real quick. Hold on, hold on. I can't see because I ain't got my glasses on. Rick told me I, I yeah, shouldn't have my don't glasses. Blame on. it on your glasses, not the whiskey. I've had a lot of whiskey. I've had a lot of whiskey, ladies Speaking and gentlemen. Huh? Don't, yeah. Don't be jet. All right. All right. You guys got any more questions? We got two sauces left, and then we're done. You're free sake now. Free sake dog. All right. I'm gonna call Hoss real quick. Hold on. Can Can they see? Can they see his Hoss? They can see your stupid ass. Yeah. They, <laughs> they can see Hoss too. All right. All right. Hold on. All right. Hello. Hey Hoss. What's cracking? Hey, we're trying to figure out how to get you on in this live stream. But we're we're on the live stream right now, but <laughs> So you are so, live. So you're live, you're on it, but I can't figure out how to get your face on here. <laughs> <laughs> just laugh that up. Hey, we're gonna play two of your songs right now. I I just want you to tell everyone on Suburban Noise Records website how much you appreciate being like fucking with this shit again. It's gonna be a dope time, right? Oh yeah. Can you hear him? Hey, can you guys hear uh Hoss right now? Hoss, just yell, yeah. just yell something real quick. Can y'all hear me out there? Can, can they hear him? Can you all hear Hoss right there? Hello, hello. Anyway, <laughs> fuck it. Just talk. All right, hey Hoss. So we're gonna, <laughs> we're gonna play, um, we're gonna play Stir It Up and Lay Low. But I want you to, I'm gonna put this real quick. Just can say you, something to Suburban Noise Records. Can you do FaceTime with him? <laughs> right on, man. You got it. U.S. Circle A Records. Yeah, bang, bang, baby. And bang, bang. Right now, man, uh, everyone's excited that Suburban Noise is up and cracking again. We're looking forward to doing a lot of music with them, making a lot of money, man. Suburban Noise uh, knows how to throw shows, dude, and SRH Fest and all that. Looking forward to all of it. We're going to be doing a second DGAF record. Um, right now, I'm going to be talking... Uh, talking with Sub Noise about an acoustic album that I'm, that I'm working on. Only got so many more songs on it, then I'll be finished. I won't be dropping it, but uh, that's coming together real quick because that's something I've already had written, so. But 
there's a lot of projects going on at the same time. I have, I also have the EP with Danny Diablo, and it features Scribble and, uh, um... You're gonna feature me too, right? Yes. <laughs> no, 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 yeah. take that guy out of there. Uh, <laughs> Fuck yeah. The DRP. DRP? Hey, I'm gonna try to get you on I'm gonna get I'm gonna try to get you on FaceTime so we can get you on this real quick. So I'm gonna I might call you right back, alright? Alright, sounds good, brother. Alright man. In the meantime, we're gonna play a motherfucking song. In the, yeah. <laughs> we're gonna play a song real quick. I'll call you right back. Big hoss, D Gaff for life, you know where it is. Alright, this track is called Lay Low. It features Big Hoss and Jason Logic from Force 5 Records. And we're going to try to get Hoss back on the stage. I'm going to be here real quick. Hey, how can I get him on?
but we turn that down for a minute. Anybody out there got any more fucking questions for tonight? I think we got only a track or two more left. This fucking guy. Whose man's is this? <laughs> We got one song left. This guy doesn't know how to use a fucking right. computer. I'm trying to get uh, Hoss. We can't get Hoss and uh, Dash in. No, it's not working. Uh, Alright. Well, again, I'd like to thank everyone for fucking checking this shit out. For supporting Saint Dog. Supporting Suburban Noise Records. Supporting Whiskey. And when you see Rick Dog, punch him in the face. And uh, supporting Force Five Records. I appreciate the fuck out of it. I appreciate the fuck out of you guys. And the underground is where fucking music is live. So, you guys got any more questions? I'm gonna play one more song. It's another big Haas song with Say Dog. Uh, it's fucking amazing. It's one of my favorite songs on the album. And uh, again, thank you guys very much. Check this shit out. August 2nd, it comes out during. Uh, the Gathering of the Juggalos. And we did this for a reason. Because we want the underground to be all-encompassing. And Zinger's like, we need to do this during the Gathering of the Juggalos. It's an amazing fucking event. It's one of the most craziest times for the underground. You know what I mean? Like, everybody loves the Gathering of the Juggalos. Don't give me shit about any dividing this or that. We don't want to hear about that. Let's fucking enjoy the shit out of this. Let's enjoy the shit out of the underground. We are here because we love what we do. We are here because we love this kind of music. So don't give me division. Give me the fact that we love this shit. Give me the fact that this is what we love to do. And give me the fact that this makes us fucking smile and fucking party. So this is for Ruckus. This is for Suburban Noise. This is for Psychopathic. This is for MNE. This is for Strange Music. This is for uh, some American. This is for Strange Music. I don't give a fuck. We love this shit. This is for the underground. And free Saint Dog! And free motherfucking Saint Dog. And Nickelback! Fucked it and up. And I can't get this shit to work. You fucked it up, dude. I did. <laughs> Show me. Oh, there it is. It's coming. It's coming.